Ball is up and away we go officially. First possession of this ball game will go to the San Miguel Beermen. Again, their starters, not their usual. Jumar Pardo, CJ Perez will be coming off their bench, which just shows you an even deadlier side of the second unit of, of uh, the San Miguel Beermen bench. Yes. <laughs> They will not be having Henry Galinato who has started a couple of games for them. Suffering an injury in practice is Marcio Lassiter open to scoring with back to back triples. Well, much more a defender against Marcio, so he can just really shoot over the defense of Brian Ruela. Good help defense from Brandon. Another three on the way. Tautua will not connect. So this was their contact down low. Obviously, he got that ball, but he's doing a good job thus far. Who will deliver the first basket for TNT? It will be Kim Odin securing the triple. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of Kim Odin. Yeah. What he's done is he has made himself so much more valuable. I mean, people kind of thought, you know, he's just a 3x3 guy, but he came in here and he has been doing some serious damage on the 5 on 5. With a hope with no Henry Galinato to be a presence inside, just driving against the defense and finishing over in the last game. I think Rainer Shine did a great job of keeping things at bay, and uh, they really ran a lot, but uh, at the end of the day, if you, your, your shots start missing the mark, San Miguel will make you pay. All the way down a bunch of stairs. Uh huh. Not fun. <laughs> and then the majority of the bags aren't even yours, right, Vince? 90%. <laughs> Let's see if Talking Tax can somehow figure out a way to eat into this lead. Eruela with a good move, fade away jumper is money. That's a quality move. It's yeah, coming <laughs> up the bench for the San Miguel Beermen. We've heard of him yeah. before. Has a couple of three-point shots already. CJ against his Gila's teammate Oftana goes to the spin. CJ Perez, immediate impact. Immediately Kelly Williams checks him because he is going to be their best defender against him. Kelly. Misses his first touch. Ebonya there for the pickup. And he scores Good work. a set of second chance points. Good work. Got inside position on Motel Tua. And uh, obviously earned those two points. Great defense by Maul, but better offense there. CJ drives the pass. Does not connect. Stolen by Pogoy. They have the numbers. of Tana back to Pogoy. R, R with a sweet finger roll. Where do you define and distinct... What is a starter? Well, well, when you come off the bench, you're a bench player yeah. for the for the, for this game. All right. As R. R. Pogoy, quick turn to a three-point shot, recovering for the Beerman, forcing Pogoy to a miss. Romeo, pocket pass, Junmar, easiest look of the night so far. So after that timeout, quick basket for Junmar, and he will now be posting up against Kelly. Good pass. It somehow lands with CJ, and he gets yeah. the friendly bounce. He's got that unbelievable ability of just creating, manufacturing a shot where seemingly there is none. That time going around the good defense of Bogoy for the nice two-pointer. Castro using the screen provided by Ebonya. He won't miss a lot of those open looks. And we're in full game highlights, so download the app via Google Play or the App Store. Or can also watch by FilipinasLive.com. Quick attack, fast break for Jericho Cruz. Those are the tough ones when you're a shooter. You think it's in, it looks like it's in, but it just trickles out. Pocket pass, Kelly finishes this time. You know, and coaches will tell you what Jason Castro did is what you're supposed to do. Just turn him, make him change that shot from just an easy layup. How about the fifth triple? of this first quarter for the San Miguel Beermen. This one courtesy of Don Trolliano, lead back up to eight. You know, again, if, if you're TNT, who do you guard? I mean, who do you like focus on? Because everybody can hurt you. I think that was almost a jump ball there. Almost a jump ball, almost a traveling violation as well. But in any case, it almost looked like a four shot, but not for Don. That's a par for the course shot as we look at the blur. Showing us he can knock it down. Decent performance for TNT. Oh, they yeah. could get within a one possession. With a basket here. Our Pogoy. Boy, he's also hot coming off the bench. Uh-huh. 
focus to be the one to drive to the basket now. His three-point shooting is something he has been putting the most premium on, and we saw that in the last game from his five out of six. The captain was doing so much damage inside. Didn't really have to shoot those outside jumpers. But when uh, other bigger, taller guys came in, he was kind of forced out a few feet. Speaking of being forced out a few feet. Oh, that's <laughs> Terrence Romeo. That, that, that's by choice. He <laughs> wanted to be there. Romeo delivers the sixth three-point make of SMB here in this ball game against a five of TNT. Lee chips back to the Beerman. So he was happily forced to shoot a three, I Oh, guess. wow. Jason wow. beating the defense of June Mar. Let's look at this once again. Just a quick sweep move by uh, Jason Castro. It takes really long, incredibly athletic uh, steps and uh, finishes nicely. Yes, he just committed another foul. That's a turnover against SMB. Jason looking at his options. What a pass as Okana scores on the layup. People think that guards are not that uh, strong and athletic. They better watch this game. Speaking of athleticism, what a great you know, miss, uh, you know, direction yep. from uh, Mr. Castro. Made it appear that he would shoot and then pass the ball. A genius coming from uh, Jason. Pull up jumpers, money for Terence Romeo. Good pace in this ball game. Yes. Any free throws taken. Ooh. Sneaky layup will not work. Put back is money for June Mar. Exactly. I'm sure that's what the, the scouting report is as well. Try to make one of those shots. Ooh, that could be in a travel. Almost. I actually got a call wrong in my life. This is the first one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes, it, sometimes, CJ Perez. Jumar, soft touch from uh, the mid-range. What an advantage San Miguel really has, having the luxury. That's to boy. Double team, Kobuntin, one dribble, pull up jumper, finally it drops. You know, going back to guys who are good at drawing fouls, for me, bar none, yeah. Paul Lee. Yeah, sure. He gets you on his side, boom, he's going right into you. Marcio has been silent after those early triples. This time he assists Don Trolliano for this end one opportunity. You know, most of his inside offense actually come from offensive First rebounds for Don Trolliano. But with the, the wealth of shooters uh, the San Miguel Beermen have on the floor, there is a lot of space to Lance with Kobuntin. Uh, they, they will keep possession. Glenn of the spin. Almost lost again. They go inside. Ebonia with a fake and the finish. You don't want to blow it because you can't use it if it's unsuccessful, especially later in the game. Oftana from the corner, no good. As a three-point shooter. As definitely slowed down from both camps here in the second quarter. And Ciso, just as he say that, he says, you can get it going once again. 46-37 as Simon and Ciso hits again. <laughs> Of course, he's going to say he meant to bank that, but I'm not sure if he did. But whatever it is, it still counts. Oftana runs into a brick wall. Counter attack here. Simon will pull up. Oh! oh! Three, three in a row. straight triples. They can take the final attempt. There's a foul to give for uh, SMB that is still available. As Ponferrada scores inside. You have to really think about if you're a shooter, is how fast is the defense yeah. really closing out? And they are just on you like white on rice so quickly. Marcio will start this third quarter like how he started this ball game with a triple. And I was looking at Coach George and he's like validating himself. See, I told you to shoot it. Look what happened. Nine points <laughs> in the match. <laughs> For Marcio Lassiter, first six points in the early goings of our matchup. Kenny Williams answers right back with his yeah. own triple. If he can do that more consistently, what a tremendous weapon that will be for not just him, but his team. First outside shot for Kelly. JT from the short corner, it's good for two. He's really found his niche here. <laughs> what you can do, I can do as well. Castro left there. open and he burns them with a triple. The first things you'll have to do in transition is to know where Jason Castro is. 
an inch closer to him. That is a tough jumper. Beauty. It is an end one. Free throw strive. Maybe we can see it better in slow ball. Again, if there was contact, it was minimal. It led to them being frustrated, which eventually produced bad transition defense and more opportunities for SMB to run. So what they really want to see in the second half. I think the hair makes him fly higher. <laughs> Outside shot, the three for Ross, short. Oh, look at that, like taking candy from a baby. <laughs> from Oftana, yeah. securing the board. Smart, that's a very smart play. If you can't get the rebound yourself. Uh-oh, almost. I thought it would be a dunk from BGR, but I think he took off a little too far away. Just laying it up and in, still enough to trim their deficit to four. Bajardo with a tight pass. Romeo for three. No. Candy, baby. Bajardo against all contact. Uh, gets it to drop. Uh, that harm and still was able to keep his concentration and make this shot. Look at how many tips and offensive rebounds and bumps he gets. And then it's showing off. Look at my guns. Look, it's Varilla from the corner. It's the side of the backboard. Oberoftana will get the possession back and quickly score. In comes a better scorer in Kim Orin. Will he convert? Yes, he will. He urged SMB to relax so they can also make smarter decisions. So let's see where this mental switching can take them. Back to you, Parliament. Thank you. The very strong and burly Glenn Gamadin making his presence felt. Good, good pass. extra pass in the corner, three-point shot, no good. And SMB is on the run. Cruz, the banker, calmly. You can't allow yourselves to fall too far behind as Jumar uh -oh. issues a pass. Trolliano, good line, just a little strong from deep. Eruela attacks quickly. He gets the end one. Wow. By CJ. Let's look at it once again. Has he accelerate and kiss it off? From Eruela. Cruz. Goes to the spin. Blocked by Ponferrada. Blocked by Aurin. This Bel Gregorio as SMB has just completed another stop. You were just talking about him, but he will miss this shot. Trolliano taps it over to himself for another extra possession for the Beermen. Cruz on the drive, sneaky wow. layup is good. I think an underrated rebounder. Very strong guy as well, good position rebounder. Uh-oh, Marcio left open and he converts from Dave. They just hit the right guy at the right time seemingly and that was obviously the right guy, Marshall Lasseter. One of the best that's ever been from three-point land. Digging a little too deep there was the defense, leaving Marcio with so much space. To convert the triple, Kim Oren answers back though. Oren going hard on that last play, but prior to that, he had to respond to that wonderful shot there. Hands it over to Kim Oren. Kim wants to go to BGR. The pass tap stolen. Cruz will attack. Banker is good. Uh, <laughs> and uh, working out as hard as he can, and he doesn't look like he has any kind of injury right now. Jason Castro throws up the three. That's good. A big one for the blur. TNT to really eat into this lead if they can score here. They go right back to that ball screen. The kick out pass. Bogoy oh. makes it from Dave. Yeah, right there. Let's look at it once again. A nice pass off by Jason Castro who spots the open. Bogoy in. They're looking for Junmar, but Kelly Williams is putting in a lot of great work. Cruz on the attack. Kick out pass. Trolliano connects this time. What a great play. Again, you get that deep, deep uh, penetration, attract all kinds of attention, and then you get that kick out wide open with Don Trolliano, and he rattles it home. 12 points in the ball game for Don Trolliano. He just missed a shot from there, so you have to give credit to the trust in this squad. Oh, wow. Kelly Williams with a throwdown alley oop style. Let's look at it once again. And when Kelly Williams takes flight, it's two seconds to score. Jason, the pass, launched by BGR, he misses. And that will be the end of the ball game. Great defense 
Great stand coming from SMB in that final possession.